Hi, I'm Clark Canary from the Industrial Interface Group here at Texas Instruments with a brief discussion of RS-485 power supply current. The supply current for one RS-485 node includes the external load current, the internal quiescent current, and the dynamic current during signaling. The external load current comes from the differential driver circuits and is dissipated by the termination resistors and the other nodes. This applies only when the driver is actively transmitting ones and zeros to the network. For a fully loaded bus with standard parallel termination, the external load current should be less than 60 milliamps. For networks with fewer nodes or with less termination, the load current can be much less. The internal quiescent current provides biasing for the internal circuits of the transceiver. The current is specified in the data sheet and will depend on whether the driver or receiver or both are active. The dynamic current occurs inside the transceiver when data bits are transmitted or received. The faster the signaling rate, the higher the current. Put these all together and the total current requirement can be calculated from the transceiver data sheet, the signaling rate and duty cycle, and the external network load. For more information, see the TI web at www.ti.com. Thanks.